Community Pride on 8 News Now is sponsored by our Community Pride partners, Finley Automotive Group, Southwest Medical, part of Optum Care, and Silver State Schools Credit Union. Welcome back. Southwest Medical and Associates, the sponsors of this next segment, are back to continue their 50th anniversary celebration. This time, they're helping build the Friendship Circle of Las Vegas. Check it out. I'm so excited to help spread this word. It's so important. Um, Dr. Rosenberg, we're celebrating 50 years of Southwest Medical. We're continuing the celebration of the anniversary. So let's just start off with you and, and what you do for Southwest Medical. Okay, thank you so much for having all of us today. So at Southwest Medical, I'm the medical director of hospice and palliative care. Uh, in doing this, we provide care to the most medically fragile and at-risk patients that Optum serves. Um, we provide care uh, almost, almost exclusively in patients' homes. So 98% plus, we go to people's homes. Um, that is where they find the most comfort, so that's where we follow them. We do uh, follow our palliative care patients to other settings, such as hospitals and skilled nursing facilities when they need that level of care, but we really uh, know that people prefer to be at home. Uh, so as, as the medical director, I visit individuals in their homes, and we also support caregivers and have uh, caregiver support groups for our palliative care and hospice families, which we're really uh, proud about. You, you mentioned support groups, and I think this is the perfect segue to another type of support group. So let's talk to you, Nahama. Uh, you are the director of the Friendship Circle of Las Vegas. What do you guys do for the community? Uh, all right. Well, thanks for having us here. And I guess quite simply, the Friendship Circle is a nonprofit that aims to create a more inclusive community for individuals with disabilities. Um, we believe that everyone um, deserves to have a friend and everyone can be a friend. So pulling that all together is, you know, have a powerful, can, can have such a powerful impact for anyone who chooses to get involved. Absolutely. And, and Rabbi, how does Friendship Circle actually carry out that mission? So Friendship Circle carries out our mission through various programs, activities, and events. We just put out our calendar for the year. Again, the mission is to get teens, young adults together in an in a, in a array of programs and activities to have a fun time while making friends. Um, we've got events for the Friendship Circle specifically. We also have some events that are open to the community as a, as a whole. One of them coming up on August 22nd. Um, it's an event to uh, discuss and stop, break the stigma or surrounding mental health suicide prevention. And we are encouraging the community at large to join so everyone can learn, the teenagers, teens, parents, professionals, to learn how to be a better friend and help support all of the community who may be struggling. Absolutely, and unfortunately, there's been such an uptick in that. So this is such an important event. Um, Nahama, how can people help you guys around the community? Uh, I think specifically right now, I, as I said, uh, my attire is not so weather appropriate. <laughs> we wanted to show off some of our um, awesome things that you'll see at the, at the Mental Health Awareness event. You'll get a chance to pick up one of these. Um, but that's some, I that's think, some good merch right there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's really it. You know, come help us spread the word. Bring your family and friends um, free and open to the public. So it's, it's just a great opportunity to get involved in an impactful way. Hope to see you there. Thank you to Southwest Medical and Associates for being one of our Community Pride partners. All right, uh, some severe weather.